All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be talking about Hassan Piker or Hassan Abi, however you wanna say it. Uh, I got a little bit of inspiration to talk about Hassan from Geo. This was originally going to be a video talking about XQC and the entire fair use and like streamers react content type of stuff. I really wanted to shift it more into the Hassan stuff. I will be talking about XQC a little bit for, for a second, but I just wanna talk more about Hassan and the massive hypocrite that he is. I've been wanting to make a video about Hassan, to be fair with you, but I've never really had the opportunity, I feel like, to just sit down and really soak in the amount of things he's done. And this week, in this month, he has done a lot of stupid shit. Uh, it starts pretty much off with the entire Kai Sinat stuff, where he basically just equated the riots to just a bunch of black kids dancing. It wasn't a riot by us much. My dude came in here to cry about a bunch of teenagers that were dancing in the streets. Good job, man. We're covering, like, big boy news now, okay? Don't worry. We moved on. And also just kind of advocated for, like, small businesses getting ransacked. Like, there was a old man who basically got hit on the head and had a few things stolen from him, and he basically just shit on that. He, he basically just shit on the guy, like, oh, they only stole a few chips. All the chips were broken and, and pulled apart, things were taken off of it, um, and he was saying that he was injured uh, because he was trying to stop the kids and they hit his head, his neck, his back. Um, the gentleman is in his 60s um, and you know he seemed he was talking to EMTs that were there and talking to the police that were there giving them a report of what happened but you know a totally just innocent victim in all this that he was just doing his job going about his day and uh, his his business got ransacked there. Um, but from where we are here, you know, th it does that the officer of circumventing them in that sense. And it, it, from my perspective, that's- I fucking despise local media, dude. There you go. There is no better representation of how dog water local media is and how much they, how much they exacerbate, like, narratives that you see on Fox News. What role they play in the boomer reactionary pipeline. Local media talking about $3 worth of fucking Doritos like, you know, there was a bank run or some shit. Yeah, this guy's, uh, this guy's probably not making much money and now it's going downhill because he's getting his ass beat by a bunch of kids and he's a fucking 60-year-old man. Hey, you understand what I'm saying here. Just Hassan is a very big anti-capitalism and very big anti-business, very huge left-wing presence on the platform. And I'm not gonna get into politics and stuff, but the guy is an extreme eat the rich person, but he literally is rich himself. He makes six figures. He makes a shitload of money and he doesn't exactly give that money away or live in a much more substantial home. Uh, I know that housing in California is pretty difficult. So I will give Hassan the benefit of the doubt here that housing in there just in general is, is fucking bad. In general, it's really tough in California. It costs a lot, but he spends millions of dollars on housing for himself and his own parents. He lives in mansions, but he'll shit on other people for making mansions and then say, this is a waste of space. Utility is just getting wasted here, which is ridiculous because you're doing the exact same thing. Again, I just don't understand that logic. You're doing the same thing. It it's, goes against your entire beliefs, your entire understanding of things. It is so fucking frustrating. And not to mention that this guy has also had history of just basically saying that America deserved 9-11. This is so insane. America deserved 9-11, dude. Fuck it. I'm saying it. We're there to partner with them. And also just a lot of other, a lot of brain dead takes that he's had that a lot of people have had issues with. The The main issue that I have with Hassan is a lot of it has to do with his fan base. I'm amazed at the fan base this guy has garnered. He literally goes against his own personal values. Like literally, we have seen it time and time and time again, but his fans will continuously uh, side with him and run to his side. I'm amazed at the amount of content creators who can continue to associate with the guy. And this kind of brings me into the XQC and H3H3 H3 debate that I really so wanted to talk about earlier, but I feel like I kind of wasted my time and I should have brought it up a long time ago. I should have uh, I should have put a video out about this a while ago, but I'm going to include it in here. Now, basically what happened, if you don't know about the XQC and all that stuff, I'll explain it just real quick. Uh, XQC reacted to content and put little to no effort into it. He had multiple streams where he basically just left the room or just didn't do anything. Now, this 
this is a normal thing within the streamer community, at least from what I know. I have seen this time and time again within streamers that a lot of them basically put little to no reaction into stuff. I would say Moist Critical is a good example of somebody who puts effort into uh, like reacting to content. That's the whole point. He pauses, he reacts. If he leaves the room, he pauses the video. He, he makes sure that he's engaged with his audience when videos are playing, which is what you should be doing. Now, XQC doesn't exactly do that all the time, and he got in a lot of trouble for it. I don't think what XQC was okay. I don't think it was good, but I do agree to an extent with XQC. I don't understand why he was the one getting all the hate when there are countless amount of content creators who do the same exact thing. And this is where I think H3H3 fell apart. I agree with H3H3 that what XQC did is theft, but you also had someone like Hassan Piker in the same fucking room in the same call, and he is someone who does that on a daily fucking basis. He leaves to let the video play, and then he munches on fucking vegetables. From Los Angeles, California, South Central. South Central. And uh, tell me about your... What is what is the standard here, right? You're allowed to be friends with somebody who does that, but once XQC does it, it's all of a sudden it's a fucking problem. This is the type of shit that pisses me off. H3H3 presses and hates it when people don't make transformative content, but then continues to be friends with Hassan Abi. And when H3H3 shit on Hassan for doing that same thing, he goes on Instagram and says, I was being too harsh to my friend. I'm very sorry. This is the type of shit that pisses me off. I agree that what XQC did was fucking atrocious and stupid and terrible, and I think that he should learn from that experience, right? I think he should learn. His debate with H3H3 was terrible. He did a terrible job. But H3H3, you are friends with a guy who does it way more and way worse than XQC. Hassan is the staple. He is the staple for reaction content, the people who leave and don't react at all. Hassan's entire role is to do nothing and make loads of money off of it. He is not even doing any effort of work or anything. This is the type of shit that pisses me off. This is what brings me into Hassan's shit. This is the main thing that I have an issue with. Hassan is basically just a stealer. He, he steals people's content and he just kind of runs with it. He, he thinks that it's completely okay and then when people confront him, he doesn't know how to react to it because yeah, what he's doing is fucking terrible. Keep in mind, this guy is a multi-millionaire who praises that we should eat the rich and that rich people should pay. But somehow, some way, he doesn't have to pay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if he pays, it's just everybody else should fucking pay. It is just baffling to me. And a lot of this, I got an inspiration from Gio's video, right, on Hassan, his recent video. And I genuinely agree with a lot of what Gio says at the end of the video about how I absolutely despise it when people go on the internet and preach an opinion and a political opinion, but then do the exact opposite of what that opinion entails, right? Again, it's it's the same thing with eating the rich or shitting on XQC. You do the same exact thing. What are you doing in this argument? What are you doing and why are you a part of this, right? That's what I don't understand. It, it is baffling to me that you are engaging yourself with a community of people who hate this type of stuff, but then you do it yourself. You are a massive hypocrite. And this brings me into streamers in general. I don't like a lot of streamers purely because a lot of them are hypocrites. I, I, a lot of them are just really terrible creators in itself, very lazy. And like I said, I recommend people like Moist Critical, a guy who genuinely puts ample amounts of effort into what he does. And is just an all around great creator. But again, Hassan, I just, I can't. This this guy is a, is a massive fucking hypocrite. There's more. Oh man, there is more. He has done so many fucking things that just, I cannot fathom. He has done so much shit. He is a terrible creator. I mean, even even look at his fan base, right? His fan base is another example. Terrible fucking fan base. They are terrible fucking people. A lot of them are just horrible individuals who go after people because they want to. It's just a fucking mess. And if you're watching this video, I implore you to never engage in Hassan's fan base or just engage with Hassan in general. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep rambling and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.